yeah. the white people, yeah. the white people. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta put that in the script somewhere. Like just the idea of us respecting ourselves yeah. is disrespectful to yeah. white people. Yeah. Yeah. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. I want to get the backstory of how this came about because you were having a conversation with James Fry, James Fry, James Fry, best selling author. Mm -hmm. There were all these rumors that CBS yeah. was after Oprah to be on the show. Andy, you know that's not true. Right. I don't know what is true, and I don't know what isn't. <laughs> Rita, you're very good at the lap dances. <laughs> I want to be immortal, too. I could die today. Don't see that. I just want people to know I was here. The Not Fucking Around Coalition was created to protect the black community. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. Calling to a protest tomorrow. For what? To support you. I can't believe y'all are here, man. Like, I was just watching y'all, like, like on TV. I just want to say, man, to all the young cats out there, please, I'm telling you, change our lives out there. We can stick together, make some money. And then, I you walking right next to me. That shit is crazy. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. So first of all, I wanted to start with, with the smoking gun report um, titled The Man Who Conned Oprah. I've struggled with the idea of it and... No, I the lie of it. It is also not fiction, but a bold choice. It's taking us right to the edge. It's a gut-wrenching memoir that is raw and it's so real. Our next book is A Million Little Pieces. So do you think you lied or you think it made a mistake? I've struggled with the idea of it and no, I... No, the lie of it. That's a lie. It's not an idea, James, it's a lie. Yeah. He, pointed, he, he planted this little seed for you about this movie. I mean, he did. The white people, yeah. the white people, yeah. the white people. I can. And you said, yeah. don't call it a Bonnie and Clyde story because your go-to, you would think, is Bonnie and Clyde. You right. said, not this time. No, and I did revisit that film before I started writing and, and Thelma and Louise as well, but I think almost the, the things mm -hmm. that I wanted to sort of break those rules and break convention and sort yeah. of put people of color in the center of a narrative and that, you know, we are in a war like that we didn't picture. start. Right. Um, and I feel like black people, when they walk out their door, they go to war every day. Yeah. And they have to decide what black person do I want to show up as this morning? Do yeah. I want to be MLK? Please, I'm telling you, change our lives out there. We can stick together, make some money. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. And that, you know, we are in a war that we didn't start. Right. Um, and I feel like black people, when they walk out their door, they go to war every day. Yeah. And they have to decide what black person do I want to show up as this morning? Do yeah. I want to be MLK? She has called this a protest film. Yeah. Uh, is that something you would use as well? I mean, I think of it as protest art. I, I got to ask you uh, about what's going on on your show. Two yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. First of all, there were all these rumors that CBS yeah. was after Oprah to be on the show.
crossed state lines after killing Officer Reed in Cleveland, Ohio. James Fry, best-selling author. I want to be immortal, too. And so to be clear, white people are not writing a check, though if any white person wants to write me a check, I'll give my Venmo after the talk. But reparations is about a societal debt Black Lives Matter Chicago rallied in support of people who looted and are locked up at the police station at 18th and State. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. And it is paid by the government. It's not about punishing white Americans. Anybody want my Venmo? You're too young to be worried about all that. I could die today. I just want people to know I was here. I also want to say this, that this is a moment that demands a frank and honest assessment about where we stand and more generally the safety of women. Something going on between you and Schumacher? Not anymore. All comfortable being together in groups. Including asking questions of those we cover, and that's exactly what we were doing. Fager, Rose, and former CEO Leslie Moonves have now all been forced out of CBS after allegations of misconduct. It's not your show anymore, Max. It's mine. How do you, what do you say when someone that you deeply care about has done something that is so horrible? Good inside. <laughs> this I know is true. Women cannot achieve equality in the workplace or in society until there is a reckoning. <laughs> and I just want to be <laughs> so close to you. You make me feel so alive. Oh. The news is back in the morning. Um. Let me be very clear. There is no excuse for this alleged behavior. <laughs> Colito. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. It is systematic and pervasive. Oh, yes. I'm gonna come. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Charlie Rowe. Uh, standing up for the same transparency here at CBS that, that we all stand up for in our jobs as journalists. Um, Birthday, Charlie Rowe. <laughs> Rita, you're very good at the lap dances. We'll, we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Charlie's Thank birthday. You. Literally, I, there were times when I thought Gail would be fired because she would go too far with the way she would flirt with Charlie. I, I was like, how does she get away with that? It's, it was just so tacky. It was so not Walter Cronkite. It was like turning the news into Oprah. And nobody hates Gail, but it's just, it was like, what, what are you doing here? So it was so ironic when... A sense of There is other. something sensual, Charlie, about just it, touching it is. fingers. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> The way Nora makes that snorty laugh that's meant to be filler, really. I mean, a lot of people act this way at parties when you're supposed to look festive. I mean, just leave your mouth wide open. <laughs> <laughs> For years, 
I cringed. I would literally cringe when Gail would make some double entendre, like a sexual entendre, and make Charlie blush. And and Charlie and Nora both always seemed like they felt obliged to make Gail not feel embarrassed for this weird thing she just said. I, I'm such a Charlie Rose Me fan. Too. Love the guy. Me been too. interviewed by him. Me too. How do you reconcile? And you and, and this happens, but we will. I know that we will be okay. It would be frightening for this country to be taken over by people who refuse to reason and don't know that that's what they're doing. And all members of the association, the racing association, will be required to take sensitivity and unconscious bias training. Unconscious bias. first arrived at Jesse Smollett's apartment after the actor claimed he'd been attacked. Smollett still has what appears to be a noose around his neck. Do you want to take it off for anything? I do. I just want to see it. Loved us watching the news, and we had to watch the news, and I thought the news was so damn boring. And now here I am doing the news and being honored this way by your peers. And I just think the picture's so pretty. I'm thinking, <laughs> who is that girl? I didn't take the picture. <laughs> well, it, it, who is she? It, it, Charlie Rojo. <laughs> Rita, you're very good at the lap dances. I know that we will be okay. In the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, Kramer tracked down her daughter to the hotel where she was staying with R. Kelly. <laughs> investigation into an alleged incident after a former employee claimed the 56-year-old executive touched her inappropriately during a holiday party four years ago. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife. There was already a campaign called Mute R. Kelly where people have decided um, that they're not going to support the music, but now you have artists uh, like Lady Gaga that are coming out and saying, I regret doing this song with him and I will never perform with him or... Mm -hmm work with him again. And then of course imagine for a second if Lady Gaga was being pressured to distance herself from him or make this comment and refused. Imagine how they would go after her. Recently, we're still trying to confirm this, but his record label dropped him. Their mothers and fathers told me, we're gonna destroy your career. They can't keep the viewers waiting much longer. The show must go on. Let's find somebody. Anybody will do to uh, provide them with that climax. This is not me, y'all. Robert, I, I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. I, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But The myths around uh, black people being lynched, which were that black people were, you know, sexual predators. Okay, they really are on chains. They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists, and they can't get out. Uh, and violent uh, was actually that black people were, were often um, accused of rape after consensual sex with a white woman. And I thought the news was so damn boring, and now here I am doing the news. Off state lines after killing Officer Reed in Cleveland, Ohio. Alleged victims of R. Kelly are speaking out for the first time since the CBS This Morning interview. And I thought the news was so damn boring. And now here I am doing the news. There's also a face in the clouds for when we're daydreaming. And a face, this is my favorite one, with those swirly eyes that go boing, because we're all feeling like, what the heck is happening to us during quarantine? At one point, most of the new emojis are dedicated to different skin tones.
in Gail's case, um, uh, continue to sit down that image of Gail's uh, unshakable um, as uh, R. Kelly lashed out. I think it's seared in the memories of a lot of people from the last year. Alleged victims of R. Kelly are speaking out for the first time since the CBS This Morning interview. In the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly, Kramer tracked down her daughter to the hotel where she was staying with R. Kelly. <laughs> where the singer defended himself against charges of abusing underage girls. Cameras followed their hasty getaway. We ran out of there like the master was coming for us. That moment came up during Gail King's interview with him. Well, he's still in jail this morning for failing to pay child support, though his manager says he expects Kelly's release later today. And as a result, it's caused... Um... 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 Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Their mothers and fathers told me we're going to destroy your career. This is not me, y'all. Robert. On the R. Kelly interview. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. All three women said that moment when R. Kelly stood up, it brought back horrifying memories. Last night, I spoke to Michelle Kramer, who says she believes her daughter. She believes, she believes, she believes. You're saying this, Gail. You're breaking my heart. You're saying it's like you believe it. Kramer says there's a good reason to believe it. Because it's true. You can start a rumor on a guy like me, just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so-and-so did this to me, R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if you... That is raw and it's so real. And if, you, if you're able to write a book from that... Our next book is... And if you're able to get a, a, a reality show... We've just launched 59 missiles. Heading to Iraq. Well, you headed to Syria. Yes, heading toward Syria. And I want you to know that. That defies logic to me. Right, right. Then any girl that I had a relationship in the past that I, it just didn't work out, she can come and say the same exact thing. And we had to watch the news, and I thought the news was so damn boring. And now here I am doing the news and being honored this way by your peers. I, I can't even tell you. I can't even. And for Ava to write it, number one, they don't tell you who's writing it. So when I found out that it was Ava DuVernay, and we had to watch the news, and I thought the news was so damn boring. And now here I am doing the news and being honored this way by your peers. I, I can't even tell you. I can't even. That's the year's deadliest fire that has claimed the lives of at least nine people so far. Nineteen others remain missing. More than 4,000 structures have also been destroyed by California wildfires, which have been burning an area of land larger than the state of Connecticut. If you are going to focus on the looting, which, by the way, white people are looting too, we need to see those images. I'm, I'm sick of just seeing black people walking around looting. White people are looting too. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Message. If you are going to focus on the looting, which, by the way, white people are looting too, we need to see those images. I'm, I'm sick of just seeing black people walking around looting. White people are looting too, but that's not the point. The bigger story is... He starts slowing down. Yeah. Where are you headed to in such a hurry? Smoke. I saw him like run across the street. He almost got hit by a car, too. I'm killing everybody Here, in that house, man. CBS's Jerika Duncan reports from Rochester. Today, the Rochester Police Union president told me the officers were following their training.
The University of Southern California placing a professor on leave after he used a Chinese word that sounds like a racial slur. Greg Patton was giving a virtual class on how different cultures use filler words to take pauses while talking. He then used a Chinese expression that sounds like a racial slur. Some students complained, saying they were offended. The university apologized. Patton insists there was, quote, no ill intent. And that, you know, we are in a war that we didn't start. Right. Um, you do not want to have to deal with this shit, man. Please, I'm telling you, change our lives out there. We can stick together, make some money. And I feel like black people, when they walk out their door, they go to war every day. Yeah. And they have to decide what black person do I want to show up as this morning? Do yeah. I want to be MLK? Ava, I was so blown away and so moved by what she had to say about me. I, I, well, she captured I it. Can, yeah. I can't even... Yeah. I... If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. state lines after killing Officer Reed in Cleveland, Ohio. She has called this a protest film. Yeah. Uh, is that something you would use as well? I mean, I think of it as protest art. I want to be immortal, too. Your life, and not only just your life, your legs, something that you need to move around and move forward in life can be taken from you like this, man. And I promise you... I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. Make some money. Make, make everything easier for our people out here, man, because there's so much time that has been wasted. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. I want to get the backstory of how this came about because you were having a conversation with James Fry, best selling author. Mm -hmm. Our next book is A Million Little Pieces. I don't know what is true and I don't know what isn't. You barely catch that she's even mentioning his name. It all plays into the theme here, which is fiction, masquerading as news and the line keeps getting blurrier. Black people think they would become officers. heroes, you said. I thought so. Um, 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 that, that, just, that, that, just, that, that just instantly sort of, that's, that's, that's what I thought. And we had to watch the news, and I thought the news was so damn boring. That's the year's deadliest fire that has claimed the lives of at least nine people so far. 19 others remain missing. More than 4,000 structures have also been destroyed by California wildfires which have been burning an area of land larger than the state of Connecticut. Yeah, no. I mean, that Ahmed, that Ahmed uh, Arbery case, too. 185, go ahead with that 27. Yeah, give me a second, ma'am. Well, am I fucking with you? Because this area is known for drug activity. How was Ahmad when people pushed up on him the wrong way? Drug, how the fuck I'm drug attack when I work at Blue Beach? Back up. Take my shit. I think that's a very important story. So blown away and so moved by what she had to say about me. I, I, well, she captured I can't, it. Yeah. I, can't even, yeah. I can't even tell you what it means. And I just think, the picture's so pretty. I'm thinking, <laughs> who is that girl? I didn't take the picture. Yeah. Well, Ed, who is Ed, she? Ed, 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 she's one of two journalists that's right. that that's you right. chose this year. We always have year. a couple of journalists on and the And you call her an unshakable figure in this business. Why so? Well, you know, the list, it's not a Lifetime Achievement Award. It's about people who uh, shape the year, change the year, 
um, stood up, stood out. Uh, in Gail's case, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, it's so unexpected to me. You, you just have no idea what this means to me. And I was thinking of my dad, who so loved news and loved us watching the news, and we had to watch the news, and we had to watch the news, and we had to watch the news. Now my white friends are finally seeing it for themselves on video. White, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. I'm, I'm sick of just seeing black people walking around looting. White people are looting too. During quarantine, at one point, most of the new emojis are dedicated to different skin tones. It really does feel like U.S. news and information, media, whatever you want to call it, has been hijacked. You know, whether it's some hostile foreign power who took time over years to selectively put the right people in place to hire the most mediocre, you know, lesser intelligent, more greedy. I mean, it kind of does describe the media today. But, you know, for example, this old man in Buffalo, he's rubbing his phone on the cop's arm. And they accidentally pushed him too hard. How does that get turned into a national story with everything that's going on in the world? It's being done deliberately. And I'm trying to explore here why that is. The white people. The white people. Gotta put that in the script somewhere. Like just the idea of us respecting ourselves is disrespectful to white people. So this thought was in response to something her actor, her lead actor, had said. Um, a very general statement. He used the word oppression, but we all get oppressed. And so to latch on to something with such joy and inspiration that was just a vague overstatement about white people, I mean, it oozes of hate. And um, again, She's allowed to go through whatever she's going through in life and all the best to her. But why are national news media organizations presenting this to us as great art? Do you know what I mean? So maybe she was in a bad mood. Either way, I have no problem with someone's radical views. I have my own, I guess. I'm sure it's someone else's opinion. We all have our own unique life experiences, blah, blah, blah. But here is a first-time uh, writer, screenplay writer, with first-time director, first-time project, which is, you know, I mean, it's not an awful movie. It, there's some beautiful aspects to it. But it's it's like, you know, it, it made by a child. You know, it's like somebody put in place, you know, with a mission. And my question is, why is CBS, and not only CBS, but pretty much all of mainstream U.S. media nowadays, hyping this agenda? But, I mean, the kid kills a cop, the cop kills the kid, the two uh, older actors are on the run because they killed a cop who was a bad cop, and they accidentally killed him because they were trying to get away you know, whatever the story, there's a message here. And when I saw this clip where he's like, I want to be immortal. And the guy says, that sounds good. There's like this Americanization of, you know, the same thing that we accuse Al Qaeda and ISIS and Inspire magazine of doing. So it kind of feels like, you know, we don't hear about these ISIS, isolated ter terrorist attacks here and there unless they're throwing matches at the trees. Um, but we don't hear it by name anymore. And, I, and it's as if um, this is how far, you know, it's infiltrated. And I try to stay as an objective, middle-of-the-road person through life in everything. I think everybody's wrong. I think everybody's evil. I think everybody lies. So I really... I don't think I take sides. I try very hard not to take sides. But I am alarmed when CBS is promoting cop killing. And even if the story is what it is, there are between the lines things that either went unnoticed or overlooked. I'm not sure. But I know a lot of people are dying. I want to be immortal too. You're too young to be worried about all that. 
No, I'm not. I could die today. Don't say that. I just want people to know I was here. I want to be immortal, too. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. Like, why you don't love us? That's the question we want to ask police. Why you don't love us? Like, why you don't love us? Like, why you don't love us? That's the question we want to ask police. Like, why you don't love us? Like, why you don't love us? That's the question we want to ask police. Why you don't love us? We need somebody to clean that. The white people, the white people. The white people, the white people. Yeah. Gotta put that in the description. Like just the idea of us respecting ourselves yeah. is disrespectful to white people. Yeah.